Sparring Partners by John Grisham. This book is three novellas, so I kind of had to go through them one at a time because they vary in quality. The first is about a lawyer who leaves his family and lives off in South America, and he is trying to come back and make things right again, even though his wife is dying of cancer, his daughter's about to go to college, uh, and so on. It seems like an interesting setup for a, a story, um, but this story is exactly what I think John Grisham's weakness is as a writer. People call him a legal thriller. I think a lot of times he is a legal travel log writer uh, because he gets so caught up in talking about the legal things of like who's filing papers where that it feels tedious and I found myself glad that this first story was over because it was rather boring, surprisingly. The second novella was a lot more interesting. A inmate is about to be sentenced to death and so he wants to see the moon for one last time. He was 15 when he committed this crime and now he's 29 and he's about to be executed. So the, the theme of it is and it's a very much anti-death penalty uh, little story, but it's interesting because you see like who he's talking to and what he's thinking about and he's been reading books all this time uh, and he talks about his favorite books and how much how his books really helped him get through the past 14 years. So that was good. It was it was tight and interesting and definitely the best of the bunch. I'm still trying to figure out what to think about the third one. The setup of the story is you have these two brothers who run a law firm and they really hate each other. And then together the two of them really hate their father and they hate their father who was put in jail for murdering their mother, who unsurprisingly they all also hated. So it's a family that very much hates each other. Hate seemed to be a big uh, theme in this story. There's lots of awful things involving awful people. But it was interesting to read. <laughs> so I guess I put this one somewhere in the middle. So long story short, the first was the worst, the second was the best, and third was the nerd with the hairiest chest. Or it was okay. So let's call this a simple three stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.